Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. This is our tech bit on the Control Center. Okay, so we're going to talk about the Control Center, which is a really handy way to get to um, some of the settings and apps that you use most often on your iPhone and iPad. So we're going to go and take a look, and it's really easy to access. We're going to show it to you on the iPad, but it's, it's pretty much the same on the iPhone, and we're going to be bringing that up in just a few minutes so right. you'll see the difference between the two. Very minor. So what you want to do is you want to get at the bottom of the screen. Now, this iPad is in horizontal mode, so I'm going to be going down here. If you have it flipped vertically, you'll want to go from whatever end is on the bottom of the screen, um, the home bar. And I like to start outside of the screen on the white bezel and just slide up, and it'll yep. come up. It's really easy to get it that way. Um, and it brings up, it, it dims the rest of the screen, notice that, so you, you know that for sure you have something open here, and it's called the Control Center. And we're going to start over here on the right side showing you some of the things. The first thing I'd like to note, you to notice is the brightness. Okay, this is a really great, um, quick and easy way to get to changing the brightness on your screen. And if I, it's a little slider bar, and if I get on the little dot and I hold down, you'll notice the first thing that happens is it, the, the rest of the screen is not dimmed anymore because it's showing me this is what your brightness level is right now. And if I go brighter, it shows me brighter. If I go dimmer, it shows me dimmer. Let's say I choose a much dimmer mode because I'm reading and it's late at night or something and I let go. Now notice how it got much darker. That's not really what it's going to be. Again, it's just that original dimming that it's doing. Right. So if I, if I get rid of it, and you can get rid of it by tapping anywhere outside of it, you'll see our dim level now. Swipe from the bottom up to bring it up again. Tap on the brightness. Shows you the brightness that you're at now, and drag it up. Okay, so don't be confused by that, the fact that right. it dims the screen back down, even though you made it all the way bright, and then you're like, wait a minute, it'll right. be bright as soon as you get rid of that. Bring it back up again, and we'll go through the other items. <clears throat> this is one of the most handy things that, that you can find um, in the Control Center, and that is the camera app. So if you tap on that, it'll take you right into the camera app, and you yep. can start taking pictures. No more searching for the camera app when you're right. out trying to take that photo of your kids running. Right. Something quick and easy. Yep. The next item, it will take you right into the timer. So if I tap on that, it takes me right into the clock app, right into the timer. So if you're barbecuing or you want to do a quick five-minute timer on something, it's very easy to get to. We'll go back. Right. Again, they put the things on the control center that you, they thought, well, which everyone uses the most. And right. the timer is right. one of them. The timer is one of them. Exactly. Now, along the um, top center here, there are a number of icons that we're going to take a look at. Um, now, notice that some of them are white, and white means that those are on, okay? Um, the first item is an airplane. Now, that's what you do when you go traveling on a plane, when they tell you to turn off your devices and put them in airplane mode. You don't have to go into settings anymore and try to find it and turn it on. You just swipe up your control center, turn on your airplane. And you can notice when you did that, that your Bluetooth went off, because that's what, um, or your Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi wi and Bluetooth, okay, right. right. Yeah. That's what it does, any sort of um, Communication. feature that's sending signals out that might right. get in the way of the plane's navigation. I guess, exactly. Although that's yeah. debatable, oh, I know. I know. and probably that won't be an issue much longer. They're going to say, all right. Well, on some of them you can. On some of them you can, right. Yeah, right. on Delta so, you can have it on yeah. during takeoff and landing. Right, lucky for us. All right, so I'm going to turn that back on, or off, so you can see that my other two options came back on again, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, which are the next two we're going to talk about. Wi-Fi is turning on your ability to connect to, um, to the Internet via a wireless uh, hub of right. some sort, which is really pretty much the only way you can yeah. connect an iPad or an iPhone to the Internet, so um, hopefully you have Wi-Fi. Yep. Otherwise, it's using cellular data if you have a cellular iPad, um, or obviously on the phone you have the cellular data. So that's turning on and off Wi-Fi, on and off. Okay. Uh, the next one is Bluetooth, mm -hmm. which we're going to be, uh, we have a separate tech bit about Bluetooth, using Bluetooth to connect, and we'll be talking about that. And again, turn it on, turn it off. Right here it'll flash when you do it. It'll say Bluetooth off. You know, if I do it, if I turn it on, Bluetooth on. So it'll do a momentary flash of the thing that you turned on or off. The next thing is do not disturb, the little moon, half moon there, quarter moon. 
And what that does is it mutes all notifications to your phone or your iPad. And we have a separate tech bit on uh, Do Not Disturb because it's a great feature and there's a lot of settings um, that you can do for Do Not Disturb um, that allow certain calls to come through and things like that. So it's a really nice feature. We have it on now because we're filming and we don't want to be disturbed. That's right. <laughs> Leave us alone. Leave us alone. Don't call us now. We're busy. Uh, so the next thing is um, turning on and off the ringer. We're muting the iPad. Mm -hmm. um, so you turn it on and the mute is on. So if your iPad isn't making any noise and you're going into things and you're not hearing anything, check to make sure that this is not white. Right. Okay. So that does sort of alert sound as well as app sound? Yes. Yep. Okay. And then, uh, you, you know, the other thing about Do Not Disturb to, to wonder, especially on the phone, is if you have Do Not Disturb on and you're not getting any phone calls oh, right. and you're wondering, this happened when it first came out, because it's really easy to just accidentally turn these on or off. Right. So if you're not getting any calls... Check here to make sure <laughs> you didn't turn on Do Not Disturb. Right. Some people will say, oh, I... The, I get voicemails, but I, my phone yeah. never rang. Right, that's <laughs> or why. Or my iPad never know, alerted right. me I had an email or something. Right, because it doesn't tell you you're, it's busy. It just sends it right to voicemail or it, you know, it yeah. just doesn't tell you that you got something. The next thing is locking the orientation of your screen. And that's a nice feature if you're reading, uh, you're doing something where you're maybe not sitting perfectly straight and, you're, and it keeps turning the orientation right. on you. Turn that on and it'll lock the orientation. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to move on uh, over to the left side of the screen here. And what we have here are your music controls. Mm -hmm. And these work um, based on the last music app that you had up. Right. That you used. And um, the last song that you had on, too. And um, you can hear we were using um, Apple Music, so that's up. And um, it might be a little bit different if you listen to Spotify or Pandora or something like that, but they're all pretty much the same. Right. Um, the top bar will get you through um, the song, so you could fast forward. Through timeline, right, right. right. And then you have um, some things down here, and this little heart is you can um, save it as a favorite, or um, these buttons here, this will, uh, this will ch um, put you to the next song or the previous song. And this is, of course, your play button. Yeah, which turns to pause when you turn right. that on. Let's so see what we got. And there's pause. So now oh, you can lovely. pause it. And yes, I'm going to pause it. Electronic music. And then you've got a share button. Yeah. So if you, you want to share, oops. It'll take you right into Apple Music, right. and you can share your song That's with awesome. somebody. Yeah, it's great. So here's a good thing to point out with the Control Center is you can access it from anywhere. Right. So even though I'm in at, in the music program, I can still right. get to it. Right, that's a great point because yeah. yeah, you can get to it. It's a handy thing. You can get to it anywhere you are. Right. Yeah. And then down here is of course your volume. Right, which again it's a slider, so you just tap on the dot, tap on the little button, move it up and down. Right. Then um, we down here we have something called AirDrop and AirPlay, and um, AirDrop is a really great feature. It um, uses a combination of Wi-Fi and Bluetooth to create this really secure, encrypted um, way to share files. Right. So you have to have um, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on, although you do not have to be on a Wi-Fi network. Somehow it uses them. Uses the protocol um, somehow. But it's a great way um, to share photos or documents, and um, a lot of people might use it in business settings. It's real quick and easy. Um, we like to use it in more of a social setting when, um, say, we're at a party and we've been taking pictures all night. Um, it's a great way to share with everyone. Um, and when you bring it up, you can share um, multiple photos or documents at once. And multiple people. To multiple and multiple people. people. And the nice thing is, is that it um, shares the high-res version of a photo and it puts, you right, it puts them right into your Photos app where if you were to text to, to a bunch of people your photos, um, it's going to be in the text app right. and then they're going to have to you know save them to each one individual photo app yeah, yeah. so each that's a really great feature yeah. and so wonderful. to turn it on you would just turn it on so you can see how you can pick different things yep you can do just your contacts right or everyone so if you're in a at a party and you want to share with everyone right. oh and it will just show up people who are on available for airdrop 
Right, exactly. Yeah. Everybody has to have AirDrop on. They have to have it turned on in order right. to receive it. And um, we'll be covering that in a uh, sharing tech bit yes. that we're going to do early this fall. And different great ways to share files. Right. And this one over here is AirPlay. And what that is, is it's a way to project your um, iPad or iPhone screen um, onto a TV, let's say. Now, if I tap on it and turn it on, you can see that right here it says Apple TV. Now, you do need the Apple TV device, right? And um, which is only around $100, and it's really a great feature, great thing. And if I have, you know, if I picked that and we were in front of a TV, all of a sudden my um, iPad would be projected onto the screen. It's a great way to view photos of your trip with your family or things like that. Right. And note that when you do go into Apple TV, you have one more option, and that's mirroring. So if you don't turn mirroring, mirroring on, <laughs> every time um, you display, uh, you go into a program that's going to display a picture or a video, the picture and the video will show on the TV, mm -hmm. but not your hunting around trying to find what you want to show. Which is nice, usually. Which is nice, yep. But if you turn mirroring on, maybe you want to show somebody, well, this is exactly how I'm doing it. You know, Which we do this. We do this in our seminars. Right. We'll mirror our iPad and our iPhone, and then it shows them the iPad and the iPhone screen, and we can show them how to do things. Right. So that's but the But probably option. for most applications. You might just have right. it on. Right. And then you'll see down here, um, this little device here is showing, it also um, um, project or projects sound. Right. And right here, you can see the Sony um, system that we have. Um, another great thing is Sonos um, sound Wireless system. AirPlay speakers. Yep. Right. Yep. It will do that too. Yep. So if you if you get a, a receiver, a new receiver for your stereo, or mm -hmm. you get some speakers, get one that are AirPlay compatible, and you'll be able to send your right. audio over through your speakers. All right. Now, um, what we wanted to show you now is there is a little couple differences between the iPad and the iPhone. Let me turn that off, and I'm going to bring in my iPhone. <laughs> Hello. Okay, here's my iPhone. I'm going to set this down. Okay, now I'm going to pull up the control panel center again. There are a couple little differences. You'll notice up here I don't have that bell to right. mute the sound. That's because on the phone, it's your little toggle switch. Like you can see here I have mine muted. Now it's on, and if I switch it, you see the red. The red is mute yeah. then, right? So, okay. Yep. So again, if you're not hearing your phone calls, check that yeah. little switch. Make sure your right. ringer's on. And then there are a couple um, features that are on the phone that are not on the iPad. And my favorite, and I think everyone's favorite, is the flashlight. Yes. If I turn that on, you can see ah, it becomes a flashlight. Really nice feature. And the reason they don't put it on the iPad is because they don't, the iPads don't have a flash. Right. Right. But this is super handy. You never, you don't have to carry a flashlight anymore. Yeah, anywhere. it's really great. I just use it camping uh, all the time. All those purse flashlights, <laughs> yeah. you get rid of all of those. And then here's, um, they also, it also has a calculator. If you tap on that, it'll take you into the calculator. Yep. Which, I'm not really sure why they don't put it on the yeah. iPad, but. So those are the differences between uh, the iPad and the iPhone. Yeah, and that's our tech bit on the control center. Thanks for watching the Sync Sisters Tech Bit. And please subscribe to our channel.